All right, how's it going, everybody? See Ride TV back with another video. So, of course, it's time for the end of the yearly traditions. As, yeah, it's now that time for the Xfinity Series Chase. The Saturday showcase has come and gone after the regular season. And now we have whittled the field down to 12 drivers to see who will win the 2023 Xfinity Series Championship this year. And why this and how will this format make me fucking drink and make me regret what make me question why I will still watch this fucking sport, especially with some of the fucking NASCAR inconsistencies happening with the rule changes. Don't worry, I made it clear about the rule changes in post, and we'll talk about still talk about them when we get there. But anyway, the Xfinity Chase is now here, so let's take a look at the grid and let's take a look at the predictions I have for this season. So, of course, right here on the screen, we have the 12 drivers that will make the Xfinity Series Chase Field in the bracket here for our three rounds of Xfinity Chase action. So, of course, round one, we have, we have um, Bristol, Texas, and, of course, the Charlotte Roval. No Talladega in the chase. Thank fucking God. Talladega did not deserve two fucking dates on the schedule. I honestly feel like playing Talladega at one day in Xfinity was the right rest decision they could make. You know, make that race feel more fucking special. Like, if you have too much of one good thing, it's, um, it becomes less special over time. But anyway, Bristol, Texas, and Charlotte. Who will, out of those 12, who make it to the round of eight? So, on the screen here, here are the eight drivers I have advancing to the round of eight. And, of course, I have the race winners highlighted in purple for the Xfinity colors. So, I'll go through my race winners who I have advanced in and the four drivers I have out. So, starting off, Bristol. I got Bristol going to John Hunter Nemechek. I mean, Nemechek has been a fucking beast on the short tracks. I think this is a pretty easy prediction. I think this is a pretty easy prediction. I think Nemechek gets it done at Bristol. Um, Texas, I mean, it's Texas, but Xfinity, honestly, has been the better product. At better NASCAR product at Texas over cup and trucks. But I mean, it's Texas, so don't get your hopes too high. You know, I don't know. Maybe in Xfinity, Texas can be the blind squirrel that finds a nut every now and then, but don't push your luck, kids. But yeah, for this one, I'm just going to go with Austin Hill. I mean, it just feels like a track type of track Austin Hill would win at. So I'm going to say Austin Hill wins that route one. And the Charlotte Roval, well, we have the bullshit rules announced. You know, stage racing back. Stage cautions are back. So we got more fucking chaos. Because fuck Rick, because fuck race strategy. Fuck organic flow and racing. And fuck driver safety. Who needs all that when it's all about entertainment? Let's be honest. The main reason they brought stage breaks back and they moved the, chica the st restart zone to the chicane is to try and create more chaos and drama. And just shove it down everybody's throat. Like, y'all thought last year's Charlotte race to ending was a shit show? Oh, this year is about to be even worse. Especially since it's the fucking chase. But yeah, this is gonna be a fucking disaster. So yeah, like seriously, who the fuck asked for this? Oh, I know who asked for this. Those crybaby fucking Darth fans. Those crybaby darfs that fucking cried and bitched and moaned and complained about Indy and Watkins Glen because, you know, no stage breaks equaled no cautions or crashes for entertainment. So they all whined and cried like a bunch of little fucking brats until they got their way. Another reason why I fucking can't respect this fucking fan base. Just fucking sickening that fucking that people in this fan base not only act like douchebags. But they can fucking whine and cry a bitch and complain like little fucking brats. About things that don't need to be fucking changed. And then they get their way. Just sickening. But yeah, for the Rovo, I mean, it's gonna suck ass. Race is gonna fucking suck. So I'm gonna go with um, Cole Custer to win that one. Because fuck it, why not? And I got Justin Allgaier, Sam Mayer, Josh Berry, Sheldon Creed. And Parker Quiggerman all advancing to the round of eight on points. So the four drivers I have out. I don't have Chandler Smith moving on to the next to the round of eight. Just ever since Chandler Smith's win at um Richmond in the spring, she hasn't really done anything since that win at Richmond in the spring. Just haven't really seen anything out of him yet. He's just had his rookie growing pains. 
Plus, Call of Duty as a whole has been on a massive decline since, like, 2020. You know, ever since Haley left to go to Cup full-time, they've just been on a bit of a decline. Especially with no Almondane or this year. So, yeah, I got Creed out in the first round. I don't, um, next driver I don't have out. I don't have the other Smith, Sammy Smith moving on. I have Sammy Smith out in the first round. Um, uh, just not feeling Sammy Smith this year. You know, he got that win at Phoenix early in the year, but... And he has shown better flashes. Like, honestly, out of the two Smiths, he's been the more superior one over Chandler. But the thing about Sammy is he's just been massively inconsistent this year. And, you know, that only gets you so far in the chase. But, yeah, I don't have Sammy Smith moving on. Just too inconsistent to consider. You know, he's shown flashes, but, you know, too inconsistent and rookie growing pains. But, you know, I think but I think there should be some big steps for him. Plus, there's that rumor about him possibly going to junior motorsports. So maybe a change of scenery will help there. Um, next up, I don't have Jeb Burden moving on to the next, to the first, moving on to the round of eight. I have him out. Um, this one's pretty self-explanatory because every year in that, in this, under this format, in any of the three series, there's always that one fucking driver that has absolutely no business being anywhere near the chase. But they end up getting in because they get a fucking fluke win at the right at the right time. Yeah, and this year that honor goes to Jeb Burden because he got that win at Talladega earlier in the year at the right time. So yeah, that's the only reason he's in the chase to begin with. Because if we did the chase without the winning in stipulation that was the top 12 in points for Xfinity, Jeb Burden would have came nowhere near the top 12 in points and Riley Herbst would be here instead. And to be honest, Herbst would probably have, would have been out in the first round anyway, but still. You know, you know, I honestly would like to have Herbst in because of legitimacy. Instead of fucking Jeb Byrne when he's just wasting a fucking spot and taking a spot away from someone that's more deserving. But yeah, this one's an easy elimination. And finally, I don't have Daniel Hemrick moving on to the round of eight. Just not feeling Hemrick this year, just a little inconsistent, like... Just not feeling it at Hemrick this year. Just, you know, like I mentioned with Chandler Smith, Colley's just been on a massive decline the last couple years. You know, I feel like even though with the 10 car, I just don't see Hemrick turning around in the chase. I know, some people might say his performance has just been that 11 car was not that good. But even if that is the case, though, you still got to be a talented enough driver to get the absolute most out of your equipment. And to be honest, I feel like Hemrick isn't getting the absolute most out of it. And I think it falls on him, not the team. The team can only do so much for that car. But in the end, it falls on Hemrick to get the absolute most out of it. And he isn't. But like, to be honest, Hemrick's champ, every sec, every day that goes by, I think Hemrick's championship two years ago was a massive fucking fluke. Because of this bullshit chase format. Like easily, Hemrick has become one of the biggest Mickey Mouse champions in recent memory. Outside of Joey Logano, of course. But yeah, just not feeling from Hemrick. And plus, what has Hemrick done since that championship win two years ago? Absolutely nothing. And I think he will continue to do nothing. But yeah, I have Hemrick out in the first round. So yeah, there's my round of eight right here. So now, we move on to the round of eight. We have Las Vegas, Homestead, Miami, and Martinsville. So, in those three races, who do I think will advance to the final four for the Xfinity Championship for the Duel in the Desert? A.K.A., which four drivers am I jinxing this year because I never learned my lesson? So, on the screen here, here are the four drivers I have advancing to the final four for Xfinity this year. So, we'll go over the winners, the guy I have in on points, and the four drivers I have out. So, Las Vegas, I got Vegas going to Justin Allgaier. I mean, Junior Motorsports has had some pretty good speed at um, Vegas, and Allgaier's had a pretty good solid record at Vegas. Just hasn't gotten a win, I believe, not yet. I think Allgaier finally turns that around. I think Allgaier gets the win at Vegas to go to the Final Four there. So, I got Allgaier winning there. I got Austin Hill winning Homestead Miami. Just, I feel, I just feel like Austin Hill is going to win that race. I mean, Austin Hill has had shown some speed at Homestead in the past. I mean, he did win the trucks race at Homestead there in 2019 when Crafton had that winless championship. So, so I feel like that's the type of red track that Hill can win at. So, and I, Hill's also been pretty solid on a mile and a half too. So, 
I feel like that's an Austin Hill type of track. I think he can pull the win off there. And Martinsville, yeah, I got John Hunter Nemechek sweeping the season series at Martinsville. Yeah, I think Nemechek sweeps Martinsville. I was originally thinking about maybe giving Nemechek either Homestead or Vegas, but I didn't want to give him two races in the same round. See, I got Nemechek winning Martinsville, and I have Cole Custer getting the final spot in the Final Four on points. And so one thing you may notice about this Final Four, this is the same Final Four I predicted back in January in my season predictions video. Because in my seasons, so yeah, the main reason I have this being the Final Four is because back in my season predictions video back in January, eight months ago, I said the Final Four for Xfinity this year would be Justin Allgaier, Austin Hill, John Hunter Nemechek, and Cole Custer. And in a rare turn of events, I'm going to stick with my season prediction video, season prediction from eight months ago. So yeah, in a way, in a way, that season predictions video foreshadowed what my final four for 2023 was going to be eight months in advance. Damn, now imagine if I actually get that right. Probably not. I'll probably end up with two or three right, but you never fucking know. Stranger shit has happened. So yeah, and now to the four drivers I have out that led to me sticking with a prediction I made eight months ago. So I don't have Sam Mayer moving on to the final four. You know, Sam Mayer has shown some speed late. Like I almost considered it between him and Custer for that last spot. It was between one of those two. But in the end, I just feel like Custer has been more consistent than Sear than Sam Mayer. And I feel like something happens to Sam Mayer at um either Vegas or Homestead. And it's going to put him in a must-win situation entering Martinsville. And I don't see Sam Mayer beating John Hunter Nemechek, to be perfectly honest. I mean, Joe Gibbs Racing fucking owns goddamn Martinsville and Xfinity. Um, I don't have Josh Berry moving on to the Final Four. I just not feeling Barry this year. Like, Barry really has had a bit of a decline since last year. Like, that team has taken a massive step back from where they were last year. Like, honestly, I feel like Barry's best shot at making it in is probably winning Martinsville. And I don't see him beating John Hunter Nemechek in Martinsville. So, I just think Barry is just going to... I think after last year, I think Barry takes a step back this year. Um, next up, um, I don't have Shown and Creed moving on to the Final Four. I mean, Creed has shown flashes, but he has been very inconsistent this year. Like, he has been inconsistent a lot this year. You know, just inconsistent and bad luck at the worst possible times. Just, you know, I feel like, I feel, I do feel like Sona Creed's first career win is coming someday. Just not at this moment. And then finally, I don't have Parker Quiggerman moving on to the Final Four. I mean, if Parker Quiggerman had a better equipment... I would probably have, I would more likely have him as a shoe-in for the Final Four, and I think he'd be the favorite for the title if he had better equipment. Because John, Parker Quiggerman is easily one of the most underrated drivers in the Xfinity field. Like, he gets the absolute fucking most out of equipment. Like, honestly, he has been really fucking good with, big, with the 48 and big machine records this year. Like, he has gotten the absolute most out of that car, but in the end... I just feel like that equipment is not good enough to get Quiggerman into the Final Four. But I do feel like Quiggerman, he will try his ass off and get the absolute most out of it in the end. I feel like he's just going to fall short. And I think that I think his equipment, Big Machine Record, is going to hold him back from the Final Four. Like, easily, I think he's a talented enough driver to do it, but just needs a better opportunity. Or, or you know, but or maybe Big Machine Records can become a good team someday. I think they've shown potential and flashes this year. You know, they just need a little more to get over that hump. But hey, this will be a good learning experience for that team, though. You know, just take it as learning experience. You know, regardless of what happens, even if Parker Quiggerman does make it to the round of eight, I think all the Quiggerman fans, Parker and Big Machine Records, they should be proud of their season no matter what happens, you know. They have fucking, they have gone the absolute most out of that car. You know, all I say to them is be proud of your season no matter what. But now, with all that out of the way, we now get to our final four at Phoenix. So, Nemechek, Hill, Custer, and Allgaier. Out of these four, who do I think wins the 2023 Xfinity Champion? So, my champion will be... So, here's my champion right here. I think it's John Hunter Nemechek's championship to lose. 
I have Nemechek as my pick for the 23th free championship. I mean, Nemechek has been fucking fast everywhere we go. He's been very consistent this year. More consistent than Austin Hill. Like, honestly, even though Nemechek has developed a bit of a choking habit in trucks the last two years, I don't, like, you honestly still can't bet against him in Xfinity this year. Like, he's been the best driver this year by a mile. Like, honestly, the only guy that's close to Nemechek is Austin Hill. And to be honest, Austin Hill, he's not the best at Phoenix. He's usually struggled at Phoenix a lot. Custer, I don't see Custer getting done at Phoenix. He just, I haven't really seen anything out of him at Phoenix. Just, you know, he isn't on the same level there. Like, I think the only driver that could possibly contend with Nemechek at Phoenix is Justin Allgaier. Because Phoenix is one of Allgaier's best tracks. But I feel like all I feel like Allgaier will have a shot at Nemechek late in the race, but he'll either choke Allgaier will either choke or he will have some bullshit bad luck strike him that will keep him out from championship keep him out of ch reach of the championship. So yeah. You know, I, I feel I feel like just you know, Allgaier's bad luck and then the fact that the other two don't do that well at Phoenix, I think it just opens the door for Nemechek to win the championship. Like I think it, it's Nemechek's championship to lose. So, yeah, that's my, and, I, and you know, and for Nemechek, um, you know, Nemechek, of course, this season, it will, no matter what happens, he'll be going up the cup anyway, you know, since he's going to the 42 for Legacy Motor Club at, um, at, yeah, in the cup series to race for Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, plus also with Nemechek winning um, and taking the best driver to win the championship this year, usually in Xfinity under this format, the best driver throughout the season has had a better track record of winning the championship than Cup and Trucks. Because out of the seven years we've uh, had this format in Xfinity, it's, I, out of those seven years, I would say it crowned the best driver throughout the season, the champion, four times. The only three times I feel like the format got the wrong champion was 2018 with Tyler Reddick. Um, Justin Allgaier was the best driver in 2018. Uh, 2021 with Daniel Hemrick. That's a fucking Mickey Mouse championship in itself. Austin Sendrick was the better driver. Was the best driver in 2021. And then last year with Ty Gibbs. Dear fucking God. I fucking hated last, Phoenix last year in Xfinity. I fucking hated that whole weekend as a whole after fucking Zane Smith Truck Series championship win. Because it didn't get much better after that. But yeah, Ty Gibbs. He was the second best driver last year. He was, I'll say this, Gibbs was better than Almondaner last year. But however, I feel like Noah Gregson was the best driver in Xfinity last year. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, I only feel like that this format's got it right four times out of seven. Will it be four times out of eight this year? Or will it be five times out of eight? You have to tune in to find out. Hopefully it's five times out of eight. Honestly... It would be a crying shame if Nemechek didn't win the title this year. But like either Nemechek or Hill, one of those two. Those two have been the best drivers all year. But anyway, I think that wraps it up here. That's all I'm going to say. Hope everyone has a great day. And hey, and hey, maybe Nemechek has a better chance of being a... Maybe I have a better chance with Nemechek winning the championship this year. Again, the champion's prediction right. Than maybe in Cup this year. Unless Martin Trex Jr. gets his shit together at Bristol.